Hey Mustangs, in this video I'm going to go over what to do for your lab safety poster. Um, now in order to complete this activity, this assignment, you're going to need to uh, take a look at the lab safety rules. Um, we have a class set so you don't need to print it out. All you'll need to do is go to the handout section on the website. So choose your class, go down to daily agenda and handouts, click on that, scroll down to lab safety rules for lab safety posters and when you click on that it'll take your handout. So it doesn't matter which class you're in, just go to Daily Agenda and Handouts and it'll take you to a similar page. Again, don't print it out. Um, just take a look at it, read over the 15 rules, and then when you're done reading through the rules, um, I'd like you to choose one of the rules or maybe two of the rules um, to create a poster for. Now, lab safety is really, really important um, in a science classroom because someone could get hurt and in the rare chance uh, could even lose their life. Um, so we want to make sure that we're as safe as we can while we are in the classroom. So when you create your lab safety poster, I'm going to take uh, several of the really, really awesome ones. Um, my TAs are going to help me decide, and then we're going to put them up along the walls so that way we can remember many of the important rules uh, to stay safe. So once you take a look at this and you read through the 15, uh, choose one or two to do your poster on. And I showed you some of these examples in class. So following the different rules that were listed on those 15, um, you can make it, remember like I said, you can do a story of some kind, so this one was really cool how it actually went through a story. Uh, remember to do your best, so if you can't draw really well, um, still do your best. Um, I do look at effort when I grade your uh, projects. So this is like a little mini project here. Um, so I'll look at how much effort did you put into it, even if you're not a great artist. You can still put in a lot of effort uh, and show me that you tried. Um, you can use characters, um, so cartoon characters, to tell your story for the um, poster. Um, here's another example. Remember, if you're a good artist, um, you can keep it black and white. So, how exactly will I be grading this? Um, as I already said, Effort is a big thing, so this mini project is primarily going to be graded on the effort that you put into it. So I'll be looking for a couple of things. Uh, first, I'll be looking at is it colored. All posters should be colored, um, with the exception if you drew something really awesome, really amazing, and you feel that uh, adding color to it is just going to ruin it. Second thing I'll be looking for is going to be your writing. So even if you're not a great artist, um, your writing says a lot about the effort that you put into it. Um, so take your time, make sure your writing's nice and neat, and I'll be taking a look at that. Now additionally, um, when you're coming up with your ideas for the poster, please make sure they're appropriate. I know you've heard me say that a lot, so make sure they're school appropriate. Um, so no blood and guts and gore and stuff like that. So make sure they are school appropriate. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead, shoot me an email, uh, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, other than that, uh, have fun doing your posters, and I look forward to seeing the uh, creative stuff that you guys come up with.